The 2015 Polaris de Gore Ultralight Vehicle Polaris Defense designed the Degore Ultra Light Combat Vehicle to plug an emerging mobility gap for SOF and light infantry forces, namely the gap between the Hummer and one- and two-person ATVs. Built around the needs of these forces, the Degore provides a high degree of mobility for soldiers and equipment in extreme off-road conditions. Polaris touts it as a «world-class» off-road vehicle, even at full payload, that quickly and safely traverses rugged terrain. This is no glorified beach buggy either, folks, it can mount up to a 48-inch weapon ring and has multiple pintle mounts, giving her some teeth for situations where maneuverability isn't enough to mitigate a threat. The Degore is now under contract and being produced for the US SOCOM, and some of our international allies. Continue reading my review on the Polaris Degore Ultralight Vehicle. Design this vehicle looks like you would expect, an ATV Hummer Buggy humbug, hybrid. A safety roll cage protects the four-man plus gunner passenger compartment, with a small, truck-like bed in back for gear. The flexibility exists to carry the gear for up to four more soldiers, or some combination thereof, according to the demands of the mission. The Degore is designed to be air mobile. With its curb weight of less than 4,500 pounds and small design, it can be slung under a U-60 Black Hawk, and the CH-47 Chinook will carry two of them internally, and it is also LVAD, low-velocity airdrop, capable. This combination of rough terrain performance and air mobility makes the Degore singularly flexible. Maintenance concerns were not neglected, and it can be maintained and repaired using off-the-shelf supplies. Chassis Polaris based the suspension on modern trophy truck technology, which is largely responsible for its exceptional capabilities. Not only can it handle rugged terrain, it can do so safely while carrying up to 3,250 pounds of men and materiel. The tow rings and winch allow for workhorse duty if necessary, and the winch allows for more self-reliance because sooner or later, it's got to get stuck, and as any mud rider will tell you, winches keep a bad day from getting worse. Drivetrain a JP-8 turbodiesel engine generates the ground-gobbling power in the Degore. While the engine specifications and actual speeds are being held close to the vest, we do know that it can move the better part of two tons at a rapid pace, depending on terrain. Pricing At $149,000 per truck, purchase the Degore through the U.S. General Services Administration, GSA Advantage Program, the National Joint Powers Alliance NJPA, or the Defense Logistics Agency DLA, if you're a military agency. There's no word on a civilian version, at least not yet. Here's hoping. He said. I loved go-karts and buggies as a kid, and this thing looks like a man toy from none other than Tim the Toolman Taylor. It almost begs you to try and break me, come on. Yeah, I know it's a tool for the military, but a guy can dream, can't he? She said. My wife and fellow writer, Alan Hinton says, it looks so Mad Max. The only difference between men and boys is the price of their toys. I say that in a good-natured way, but I know this vehicle is meant for serious business. But honestly, how long do you think it will take them to put these babies into their military recruitment videos? What guy doesn't want to drive one of these? Specifications If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.